Pleasant morning, Uniters. Greetings. I just need to talk to you a brief minute about an issue in today's people. Today is uh, the 30th of October, 2024. The 30th of October, 2024. And we are seeing where the Director of Public, Public Prosecution has asked or ordered that a constable that was involved in the shooting of a motorist be charged with murder. Now, I'm not speaking specifically about a constable, but rather the JCF overall. The Jamaican Constabulary Force has never been able to clarify its use of force policy. As a matter of fact, it has never provided the public with one, despite numerous questions being asked about how are officers trained to use lethal sanction on behalf of the state and what are the mitigating circumstances how are they trained for example in first world countries we see where they train officers with simulated weapons so as to educate them as to identify friend and foe to identify exposures as in secondary targets behind their line of sight when they're about to discharge their weapons so they're able to not create collateral damage we don't know if any of that is being used or proffered by the JCF in training their officers to go out in the public and police the citizenry now I'm not advocating that the JCF be defanged what I'm pointing out is the lack of regard by the Ministry of National Security and the heads of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, regardless of who they are, for the sovereignty of our citizenry, for the sanctity nature of our right to life. Right? And of course, there's also the debate about our right to, to liberty and our right to property when police gets involved in our affairs. And that is why the UIC has always maintained that in order to ensure the rights of Jamaicans to their life, liberty, and property. We need not a constabulary force, but a Jamaica police service. One that is trained to respect the rights of citizens, but also in possession of the ability to act on behalf of the state, but when acting, act in a responsible manner. Because they are a force, so they act unintelligible because they believe that their force can solve the problem and that's why you hear they talk about fighting crime not combating crime not prosecuting crime not investigating crime but combating crime and you'll hear that a wanted man or a suspect in a particular crime as heinous as it is would have been gunned down and that crime is considered solved because the state actors executed the ultimate sanction on that person no not at all what if that person is innocent the court process is what determines that and i'm not advocating the police officers to allow rogue elements to run wild what i'm saying is that the process was established long ago long before jamaica became an independent state that creates what we refer to as jurisprudence and a system of tracking or following through on matters of justice to ensure that justice isn't delayed or denied delayed in the case of joseph patterson denied in the case of this gentleman that was gunned down by an officer who could not settle a dispute <coughs> sorry without the use of lethal force now what do we need as a people we need more community policing as in officers that are from the community understands the people know who the bad actors are and to be able to combine that with state-of-the-art forensics, with cutting-edge investigative tools, with more courtroom resources available for prosecution, and a better penal system that will hold offenders accountable and work for their rehabilitation. Now, we'll continue to hear of these instances where persons are unintentionally or erroneously or mistakenly killed while being apprehended or while being accosted by our constabulary because our constabulary is ill-equipped unequipped 
to deal with combative situations without resorting to lethal force, even if no danger is presented to them by the person they are combating with. Persons have been shot for just speaking ill to the police. It's time that changes, and the UIC offers you that chance. The two colonial parties have been long embroiled in creating criminality and have had a strong and storied and well-documented association with criminal and criminal gangs. How are we asking them to solve the crime problem? How are we asking them to create a system that will be effective in solving and combating crime? They can't because it then puts them and their associates in danger of being apprehended and prosecuted by that same system. Let's try something different. Let's try new ideas. UIC Jamaica.com. Check out your manifesto and see what we have to offer. One Jamaica.